Hello, friends. Welcome today again to Ezaiola Online English. Today we are looking at the contractions. Okay? Contractions, that is the contracted forms. When we say contractions, we have things like this written on the board. Although we have too many of them, okay? But we've decided to limit our teaching for today to center them on this, which we've itemized on the board. But maybe in our subsequent video, we might have time to, you know, go into detail as it concerns other contracted forms. So we are looking at words like this, am, it's, don't, can't, hasn't, doesn't, okay? When we say am, I wouldn't know if you've noticed, so many a times people speak, I'm around, something like this, I'm around, you hear them say, I'm around. Of course, it's not wrong to say, I'm around, okay? But it is wrong to write it in this manner because of this, I'm around, okay? It's wrong to begin a sentence with am, all right? I'm around. What they say is correct, but the manner with which it is written, that's where it is wrong. How do you write this? I'm around. I'm around. Okay? I'm around. That's good. You could say, I am around. It's the same thing. This is this. This is this. I am around. If you write it like this, that's what we mean by contraction, contracted form. If you write it like this, it is also good. So it's either it is written this way or this way. So when we say contraction, this is contraction. Take note, very important. All right. What about this? It's. This word stands for it is. It is. That's this. It is, that's the expression, but here it is written as a contracted form or in contracted form, okay? That's what we mean by contraction. Okay, now, someone could say, it's fine. It's fine. All right? The same thing with, it is fine. It's fine. It is fine. Let's take note. It's fine. How about that? Wow. It's fine. It's fine. All right? How about that? It is fine. The same thing. Good. Good. This one, don't. It means do not. Don't. Do not. All right? How about that? Do you know of someone around? I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay? I don't know. Or I do not know. I do not know. So whether this or this, they are all good. I don't know. I do not know. So I don't know. Contraction. I do not know. They are all same. This can't stands for cannot. This is can't. It means cannot. All right? Okay. I can't come. I'm sorry. I can't. All right? I can't come. Or I cannot come. So whether this or this, they are both correct. All right? I can't come, contracted form. I cannot come, you are saying the same thing. It helps us, you know, 
to lessen the stress in written English. Instead of writing as much as I cannot, you contract it this way. That's, you know, the major advantage. I can't come. I cannot come. We have hasn't, which means has not. Has not. All right? He hasn't come. He hasn't come. Okay? Or he has not come. He has not come. So whichever one, you, they are both correct. This is hasn't come, has not come. Contracted form. All right? Finally, does not. That is doesn't. Does not. All right? He does not know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He does not know. Whichever one, they are both correct. When you say he doesn't know, that becomes the contracted form. He does not know. Very important. You see some of this. Some people might look at this teaching to be very insignificant, but I must challenge you to understand that it's necessary you learn this. Very important. It will help us not only in our spoken English, but also in the written English. Take note of this. When you see them, don't be scared. They are called contracted form. Or don't be confused. This is just the contracted form. They are called contractions in English language. Thank you very much for your participation. Don't always, you know, forget to consider subscribing to my channel and following us on Facebook on Ezayola Online English. Have a wonderful day.